who just met Claire Bowen and I gave her, she's like freaking closeted fangirl, he's out of the cage. <laughs> I'm currently at Eastwood touching up with a friend who is here from Melbourne. She's not here yet because she doesn't understand messages and didn't realise that I said I was going to be at Eastwood at 2.47. But yes, um, I'm going to catch up with her a few hours and then go into the city at Town Hall and get dinner with my sister and my other friend. And then me and my sister are going to the meet and greet check-in for Claire Bowen and I'm so excited, I cannot wait to meet this precious little angel, she's adorable, I love her, but yes, I will keep you guys updated and everyone's watching me and it's awkward, so. My eyes like always water, and then it makes my makeup, like eye makeup look fucked. to film her until her damn mascara is on. Until my mascara is on. Not allowed to. We're getting bacon and eggs. I'm not Woo! that bad, but... I'm not filming because you're a bad cook. I'm filming because I'm getting five star treatment. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a croissant and it was delicious. And now I'm gonna get bacon and eggs soon. Winning! I'm so keen. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm a nanny. Hi. This is my fam from Melbourne. And like, I'm in Sydney, so. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> we could be in Melbourne videoing this, so. Oh, true. Well, no, because Claire Bowen's in Sydney. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I've known her for how how long have we known each other now? I was like actually, five or six years. I was now. actually thinking about that before. I'm pretty sure it was. It's been six years. <sighs> so long. We literally met on Twitter. <laughs> it was not so long after, wasn't it? And then I like literally flew to Melbourne. Yeah, for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> come here, your friend from the internet. Yeah, we knew each other for a year. Yeah. Oh! Is it good lighting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <even> recall. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, girl. Um, but I moved, yeah, I moved to Darwin in... Sunday, oh, no, 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 Wednesday, Wednesday. Four Wednesday. days! Four days. And then she's literally flying up I'm there. Flying, like, two days. days, two days later to see her. <laughs> Friendship goals. <laughs> I'm amazing. <laughs> Babe. I need to stop recording because I need to have storage for Claire Bowen. <laughs> my phone's already like on low storage. Yeah. Okay, so bye. You're such a precious cinnamon roll, I can't handle it. I guess all we're going to do is go on if you've got questions, you can just stick your hand up in the earphone because it can't sit that far. And then we'll sing it and make sure you can make some photos. I'll let you guys get it off, so we'll be there to ask those questions. What advice would you give to somebody who is an aspiring songwriter but can't sing or play an instrument to save their life? That's okay. One of my uh, dearest friends, Wyatt Durrett, who wrote, you know, you guys know Zach Brown Band? Yeah. yeah. Wyatt wrote uh, the chorus of Chicken Fry when he was like 18. Yeah. And he wrote the song Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. And then he wrote Chicken Fry when he was 18. Job done, shits, and I wrote it, and Kenzo just made it famous. So, well, it's not going to go on. Cool, thank you. We wrote this song, we've become very good friends, and um, we just went in, we played through it the last time to get that work day I was telling you about. I'm 
like, I'm going to make some money. And then they were like, oh no, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like freaking closeted fangirl, he's out of the cage. <laughs> I gave her a present and she like kind of... What? No, I'm Snapchat. <laughs> she lost her shit a bit and was like, oh my god, that's so sweet, thank you, what's your name? And I was like, oh my god. Cat. Oh, I, th I was like, my name's not Cat, my name's Nack. Thank you. 